Hi guys, okay, this is um, my review of the Sima X6 quadcopter. Um, okay, so if you're a fan of the um, Sima X5 seat, and um, like a lot of people, they, um, they think the X6 is going to be a bit bigger and a bit better, so they move on to that. Now, um, before I start this review of the X6, um, I just want to say it's, uh, it's not going to be a good review. Um, First of all, out of the box, it comes with this big rubber thing all around it. Um, just a sideways bounce, or a, a little coming down from a um, sideways angle, and it was um, split straight away. So, uh, carried on splitting, and um, apart from that, it just doesn't fly very good. doesn't fly at all very good. Very heavy, very sluggish, and um, not far up off the ground, and it's uh, all over in a little bit of wind. So. We came problems, and then um, we got a crack here, and a crack there. So we've basically just cut off all the rubber bit here, and um, at the moment we've ended up with this. Now, since we've given it a test fly after um, taking off this um, useless foam bit, so we're pulling the rubber bit before it's foam, and um, it does fly a lot better and a lot faster. Now, uh, looking on the internet, I think everybody is, or, or most people who have got one of these and haven't thrown them in, in the bin, we've um, ended up taking all this shell off, all the rubber off, and um, just having a little thing on the top there, and they seem to fly very, very fast. Now, I keep calling it rubber, sorry about that. Now, this foam isn't the only um, problem that this quadcopter's got. Next of all, you can see here at the moment, temporarily, I've got um, tape over the um, motor holders and um, the, the propeller protectors well the, the, the um, prop guards on the top there on each one because they, they've got a very little flimsy screw on on this bit here which comes off very soon after giving it a bit of a flight and um, this bit isn't very secure either so um, temporarily just to see how it flies with all this um, foam off we've, we've taped it up together and um, it's not flying so bad so um this video is uh, it's more of a review of the um x6 than seeing it in, in action so on the next video we'll give it uh, a good flight round we'll give it a little flight test on this video but uh, nothing major but uh, yes yeah, so we bought this and um we were really disappointed with it straight out of the box it was uh, very slow very sluggish just too heavy you know to to, to fly about I have um, seen a video on, on top of um, people mounting a GoPro on top of these things. Now with that extra weight, I'm not sure how it would do, I can't see it doing very well. But um, our opinion of it was we were very disappointed, not just with the performance, but um, just the build quality of everything from out of the box. Now, if you've had one of these, the Simer X5C, which is a really good low budget quadcopter, and um, thinking of spending a bit more and getting one of these, I'd, I'd think hard about it first. Now, we have noticed online that um, everybody, a lot of, well not everybody, but um, a lot of other people that have got this quadcopter have ended up doing the same thing, just taking all the foam off and um, flying it with uh, just the shell here, so we're going to be doing that next. And um, you seem to enjoy it a lot more. So, um, but anyway, there's, um, there's the review. What we'll do is have a quick look at the quadcopter. It's, um, it comes obviously with this uh, big foam thing on, which uh, which doesn't help its flight at all. Not very good at all. We did have big hopes for this thing, with it being the Simer X6, and um, we've been very happy with the Simer X5C and X5C1 models. So we um, thought this might be a good thing, but it didn't turn out too good. But uh, anyway, we'll have a look at the thing. The uh, remote control. If you're used to the Simer quadcopters, you'll uh, recognise that it's um, just the same as the um, Simer X5. See. Um, Batteries are a little bit bigger, and the um, battery charger also is a little bit different there. So um, we also got spare batteries in them singular. So if we put a battery in here, and the battery goes into the bottom there like this. So yeah, all this foam here has just been taken off after the damage it got. Um, and it's the initial flight, so and then, um, but w with the foam on, it um, it, ju it just doesn't fly very well at all. No power to it, very underpowered. No speed to it or anything like that. So 
just as um, with the other side of quadcopters, and the X5, X5C, etc., you want to quick sync up the um, quadcopter. So you want to put it on a level surface, and um, flick on with your remote control there, and then turn the quadcopter on. Now, I'll just secure the battery in properly there, and uh, you can see the power buttons there. So if we go on a level surface, see two beats there, and switch it on. Um, same thing as the X5C, up in the throttle and back down again and you can see it's ready to sink and go. So um, I think that's everything I can say um, at this moment in this little review about the X5C. We'll go ahead and it's a bit windy, it doesn't handle the wind too well but um, we'll take it out just around the corner here and uh, give it a little bit of a flight now just to see how it goes. Bit of wind there, but quite stable. See, it's um, a lot louder than the X5C, obviously. And um, <laughs> you go a lot, go a lot faster too, or at least it appears to. fighting against the wind with it there, it's not large in that wind. Now, the good thing about these Sega quads is, the flips do look quite spectacular, so you do it the same way as you do with the X5 seat. And it really makes a bit of noise when it does the flip there. Yeah, a little bit hard to see where I'm controlling the wind. But um, it does have a lot more presence up there in the sky with the size of it and the noise of it. Oh, losing it a bit there after that flip. I'm pulling away a little bit. But yeah, it's um, definitely a little bit more of a job to control. You're going one way with it and um, when it gets carried away, you've really got to put it full on the other way to, to, to bring it back. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, Bill. <laughs> Set the camera right here. Yeah, a bit, bit of a wind coming through there, so struggling a little bit with that. There you go, there's a sharp look and review of the Sima XC.